Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the effective depth of the beam by the thumb rule method. I have also made a separate video on the effect and the depth of the beam by thumb rule, so you can watch the video and my, on my YouTube channel. But here this video is about the effective depth of beam by thumb rule, not the overall depth of beam, but this is the effective depth of beam. So we have another thumb rule for the effective depth of beam and I will explain this uh, lecture by one example. So the effective depth can be defined as it is the depth from the top of the beam, from the top of the beam compression to the mid of the reinforcement. Here we can see that the mid of the reinforcement is here. So this distance is known as the effective depth while the total depth, overall depth is H here, represented by H. So for the total depth of beam, we can also find the depth of beam by thumb rule. I have made a video, you can check on my channel. But here in this lecture, we are going to discuss the effective depth of beam by thumb rule. That how we find the effective depth of beam by a shortcut method or by thumb rule. So this thumb rule states that the minimum effective depth, that the minimum effective effective depth of beam, depth of beam is equal to the the span of the beam, span of beam divided by 10. So this, this shortcut formula we can say is known as the thumb rule for the effective depth of beam. That how we find the effective depth of beam by a shortcut method. So it said that the minimum effective depth for a beam should be span of the beam divided by the 10. So let's take an example here that this is the column, here are the two columns and the beam is supported by these two columns here, you can see here. So this is the span of the beam, you can see the L. Uh, let's consider, take an example that this is 5 meter. So what this says, the thumb rule says that the minimum effective depth, D minimum, effective depth should be at least of the span of the beam divided by the 10. So the span of the beam here is 5 meter. We can see the beam here, this is the length of the beam which is 5 meter. So 5 meter divided by 10, so we get 0.5 meter. We get the minimum equal to 0.5 meter or we can say 500 millimeter. So it means that the minimum effective depth in this case where the length of the beam should be 5 meter, so our minimum effective depth should be at least of 500 meter. It should not be less than the 500 millimeter. It should be more than that but should not be less than the 500 millimeter in the case of the 5 meter length of the beam. While you can find the total length, total depth of the beam by adding the, by adding this diameter, this half dia and the clear cover of the beam. So by adding these two, uh, by adding these two values, we will get the total H, where H is equal to the effective depth plus diameter divided by the 2 plus clear cover of the beam. So by this, we get the total depth of the beam. So this was the shortcut method how to find the depth of the effective depth of the beam by a thumb rule. So don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily C1 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.